Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my raw sprouted buckwheat granola here in LA, which is different than how I make it in New York because of my sprouting technique. Um, it's a lot drier here and it actually has a big effect on how um, my sprouting process works. Usually in New York, I soak it in a bowl, the buckwheat, I rinse it and then I put them in sprouting bags and let them drip out, rinse them with water. Here, because it's so dry, when I started to sprout that way, my sprouts weren't sprouting fast enough. So the method that I want to share with you guys, my little secret, is to use a steamer. And here you can see, um, I when you put your hand in here, you can see all the moisture that's built up. When I put my hand in here, it's actually really warm. And what this does is it creates an environment where you guys can see how long the tails are of my sprouts. They sprout fantastic, um, fantastically well. So this works great if you live in a drier place, somewhere like, um, you know, out here in California or Arizona, or if it's dry in the winter. So all you have to do with, with the steamer is when you need to rinse it, which again, should be every few hours. I do it when I sort of think of it when I'm home. You can just rinse your sprouts directly in the steamer like this. So they get saturated and wet. Ooh. And then shake them off and then put them right in the steamer and everything will drip out. And by covering them, you're keeping that moisture in there. It's almost like a little incubator and they will actually sprout much faster in a drier place. So that's what I've been doing here in LA. And I will say that this granola is something that I am constantly making. I make it for many, many of my clients. I feel like once I have a batch done, I immediately just start sprouting or I start sprouting while um, the first batch is in the dehydrator. It's such a great travel food. It's something that you can snack on. It's something you can take to work. It's something that's great for kids. So this is a really great recipe to sort of learn. Um, Buckwheat itself, again, it's gluten-free. So if I'm just making it while we talk. I'm gonna put six cups in here. That was four. And it's high in B vitamins, it's high in minerals, it's got protein. So it's really great. The sprouting process isn't, it seems like, you know, when you start, it seems like you have to do a lot of steps, but basically it's just rinsing and soaking and rinsing again, so it's not too bad. Okay, so here's about six cups. And I make, I usually triple or quadruple the recipe because I'm making it for um, so many people at a time and um, it goes fast. It goes fast over here in my kitchen. So basically, this, this is one serving, and then I'm gonna put in about two teaspoons of powdered cinnamon. You can make it a little sweeter if you like as well. This is three tablespoons of lemon. This is just gonna help brighten it, add a little bit of balance to our flavors. This is one tablespoon of cinnamon is great for balancing blood sugar. It's a great warming spice. It works really well with a granola. This is one teaspoon of vanilla extract, again, to add a little bit of balance to our flavor. And then I love adding just a touch of pink Himalayan sea salt. It helps to really brighten the taste just a tiny bit throughout the whole, um, throughout the whole recipe. I really, I really like it. So here's the coconut nectar. It's super um, sticky, it's super, um, <laughs> it's, it's really slow to pour out. So as you get the hang of making this, you don't really have to use your measuring cup. I usually don't, I usually just pour it right in, about a quarter of a cup, it's like honey. But I love the sweetener because it's um, less than 10% fructose. And when I use a liquid sweetener, it's my go-to. It's got minerals and amino acids and, um, it, uh, it's low on the, it doesn't spike your blood sugar levels, it's low glycemic, so it's a great one to keep around. You can find it at um, the health food store, or you can order it online if it's hard for you to find. And it's, yeah, it's definitely my go-to liquid sweetener these days. So you're gonna just mix everything up, and <laughs> I had to say this, Buckley, if you see how long their tails are, they're just beautiful, aren't they? My little sprout babies. So now you're going to get your dehydrator sheet ready. If you don't have a dehydrator, again, you can just 
put your oven on the lowest setting and crack the door open. I've made granola that way at, um, sometimes when I've been traveling or on a movie and I don't have my dehydrator. You can definitely do that as well. And then you're just going to move it onto the dehydrator sheet and make a nice flat layer so that everything dehydrates evenly. It just looks like we're gonna have to go to two trays, but I'll just demonstrate this one, making a nice even layer all the way across. Great. And then I'm gonna go over here and pop it in my dehydrator, just in the back of my kitchen. I like to dehydrate it usually between 105 and 110 degrees. Push that in um, overnight. You know, sometimes it just depends on your climate. It depends on your dehydrator. You can keep changing it and checking it. So that was one sheet. I'm gonna keep going with my batch. But again, I hope this helps. Try my steamer method if you live in a really dry place and hopefully that will help your um, buckwheat sprout even faster and even better.